The workers went on an illegal wildcat strike last Monday, demanding fixed-term contracts as well as the immediate reinstatement of their colleagues who were dismissed earlier this year. This angered the management of the company and declared the one-day strike as illegal, which later resulted in their suspension. The acting Secretary General of NUNW at a media conference at Valves Bay acknowledged the wrongdoings of the workers. Both the employer and the trade union jointly agreed not to charge the workers on their misconduct and as such, the disciplinary hearing was also called off because they did not want to delay Namibia's largest port construction project. The that is going to be constructed is not only for job creation or for the people that are working for the, for the harbour. But our country and those who have never seen Valves Bay will also benefit through the importation and exportations of which this harbour is going to, to play a role in, into. Therefore, I'm really glad from the Bank for your very good behavior. You have really demonstrated that you are a professional leader and we hope the professionalism that you have demonstrated today, it is what we are going to, to rape at the end of the completion of this harbor. The employers and the trade unions further resolved that any grievances of workers that might arise up in future should be communicated in advance to the company's management to avoid misunderstandings. The company has also assured us that they are not here to fire the workers. That was not even their intention to fire them if they have come back to the table and talk to them and recognize <coughs> their mistakes and that we are willing also to, to correct our mistakes. Lastly, the company is also promising that they are going to also to extend the contracts of those who, contracts who is going to end, possibly to the three-year term, three-year contract that they have with Namport till the completion of this project. The workers who are employed to build an oil tanker jetty in the port of Valves Bay resumed duties today after it was announced yesterday that all of them had been reinstated. But Munyaro further confirmed that all those who participated in an illegal strike would receive warning letters from the company soon. Selenkubin, NBC News, Valfes Bay.